Hello, I'm Catherine Brindlecombe Fox, and my presentation today is called Drones, Art and Risk Analysis. I am a PhD candidate at Curtin University and an honorary research fellow in the School of Communication and Arts at the University of Queensland. I'm also a practicing professional visual artist, a painter. For nearly a decade, I have been researching through formal research, technical research and creative practice issues relating to emerging technologies. Since 2015, I have focused on airborne drone technology, expanding uses of surveillance technologies and the implementation of increasingly autonomous systems using AI and machine learning. For me, creative painting practice is a way to scrutinise and expand on formal research, ultimately feeding back into it. In this presentation, I will discuss a few of my paintings to briefly demonstrate how art can offer novel ways to examine airborne drone technology, ultimately triggering novel questions. Paintings of militarised and civilian drones act as provocations that pre present opportunities to critically think about current, emerging and future military and civilian developments and uses of airborne drones. Taking time to critically reflect is important in an era of accelerating speeds. Where accelerating developments in technology are matched with increasing speeds of operation and interoperability. What does art offer? Art offers time to contemplate, to release the mind from programs of instrumentalism, to stir the imagination and thus trigger new kinds of questions. I am not suggesting art provides answers, but rather it triggers novel questions in us, you and me, which could lead to novel answers. The first painting I briefly discuss is called New Horizon. In New Horizon, a weaponised drone's wingspan cuts the landscape, presenting itself as an horizon line. Red and white lines below the drone mimic geolocating computer graphics. I chose this one as the first painting because it presents contemporary technology as a metaphoric horizon line. What is beyond? What is the future? Since painting this in 2017, advances in drone swarming technology, AI and autonomous systems, burgeoning concerns about space as a domain of war, and concerns about overcrowded bandwidth have occurred. Additionally, social media, manipulation, denial of service and cyber threats proliferate. As viewers can see, viewers of my paintings are invited to fly, in imagination, into cosmic skies. This kind of imaginational flight allows viewers to soar around and beyond airborne drones and their support infrastructure. In many of my paintings, I pay particular attention to the pivotal support role provided by signals that enable drones to operate, transmit and receive data, and perform in increasingly interconnected and networked capacities. My next painting, Topography of Signals, speaks to this concern. In Topography of Signals, I make signals visible by painting lines connecting space-based, sky-based and land-based nodes and devices. By making invisible signals visible, a netted environment from land to orbiting satellites is revealed. This triggers questions about the facilitation of networkable and interconnected systems, not only for dual-use purposes, but also the militarizability of civilian technology now and into the future. It also poses questions about the ability of state and non-state actors to potentially appropriate technology for a variety of reasons. Here, questions about accidents and unintended consequences are also brought into focus. In Topography of Signals, a fluffy, fake green cloud, painted a light shade of night vision Viridian green, hovers at the bottom of the painting. Militarised and civilian technological hardware are connected by lines that indicate light speed signal connections. The network society, the militarizability of civilian technology. I have used red and green lines to indicate augmented surveillance capabilities and therefore also vulnerabilities. Green screens, green car windows and green credit card chips all indicate data flow to the duck cloud, seemingly benign in all its fake fluffiness. In an increasingly interconnected and networked environment where network-centric warfare, grey zone and hybrid warfare tactics overlap with interconnected civilian policing and security systems, the invisibility of signals, I argue, demands attention. This is where my PhD research is focused. Taking cues from cultural critic Paul Virilio, the speeds of technological operation and the speed of technological development ring alarm bells. For example, as Virilio comments, the acceleration of reality is now part and parcel of the loss of all self-control. 
taking this quote and coupling it with another when he says, the more powerful and high performance the invention, the more dramatic the accident, begs the question, what could be the accident of the interconnected and network system? Could the accident have already happened? Here I now turn to inspirations from the COVID-19 pandemic. Increasing surveillance, data harvesting of intended data and peripheral data and privacy issues need addressing. As during the pandemic and co-current protests, there's a creeping normalisation of public surveillance, monitoring and identification. My next painting, Dronescape, a creeping normalisation, is in direct response to the increasing use of drones during the pandemic. In this painting, I'm commenting on creeping normalisation, which occurs when something happens over a period of time, and therefore its impacts accrue. During the COVID-19 pandemic, there are some concerns about the normalisation of use of drones and robots for a variety of reasons. Surveillance, monitoring, spreading messages, spraying disinfectant, delivering supplies, including medicines, and claims that temperature and heart monitoring can be conducted. If these activities are normalised, what kinds of intrusion are we accepting now and for the future? What horizon line are we crossing? In Dronescape, a creeping normalisation, four quadcopter civilian drones and their visualised signal arcs create a new kind of landscape, one that imposes itself on the landscape below. In the painting, this imposed scape creeps towards the white tree standing on a distant horizon. It does not appear long until the tree will also be netted. The tree, for me, is the age-old transcultural religious tree of life, a symbol of life and humanity. What happens to humanity when our environment is cloaked with nets of signals that relay data and instructions between nodes and devices, many with increasingly autonomous functionality? What happens to humanity when the networked and interconnected system, the netted signalscape, operates at speeds beyond domains of time and space experienced by humans? If this system is something we rely upon, then we need to think about all of its potential vulnerabilities. This takes me to my next painting, Strange Cloud. In Strange Cloud, I'm playing with ideas of the cloud, prodding further questions. A dark cloud hovers ominously. An array of multicoloured civilian drones acting as sentinels are both protectors and deliverers of data. The drone's colours belie the darkness of the cloud as it dominates the scene. The cloud's vascular-like growth sucks the environment, now a metaphor for data. A lone tree of life stands as a beacon for the commons and humanity on a distant horizon. Here now I briefly turn to the idea of theatre of war, something Clausewitz mentions often in his early 19th century tome on war. 21st century war is markedly different, perhaps presenting as a performance without end. I am currently painting a series called Theatre of War, and the next painting is the first in the series. It is also called Theatre of War. In the 21st century, war has morphed beyond earthly geography and topography into discrete spaces of the cyber world, algorithms, and light speed signal transmission. It has also extended into space where orbiting satellites are drawn into war's network. The network helps to blur the lines between military, policing, and security activities. As civilian activities collapse into militarised zones, war insidiously infiltrates everywhere. The signalic character of contemporary war operation allows for escalation and de-escalation, a war of degrees, not of duration between declaration and end. In my painting, Theatre of War, I have set up a global stage with a sky-space backdrop. The lines painted over the landscape speak to computer geolocating or terrain visualisation graphics. Here, the real and the virtual become one stage. In the distance, an array of drones act as both audience and actors. This kind of dual witnessing draws everything onto the everywhere war stage. It is a place where network systems can direct everything and everyone perhaps in a tragic complicity. Early during the pandemic, a YouTube video appeared of a quadcopter domestic drone walking a dog. Someone in Cyprus, in pandemic lockdown, had improvised a way to, to still walk their dog. While funny, I also felt a sense of foreboding. The video inspired my next and last painting of this presentation. The painting is called Walking the Dog in the Drone Age. In my painting, which actually has been sitting behind me during this presentation, I have painted an Australian Kelpie being walked by a domestic drone. I have also painted a human being being walked by a drone. 
The human being and the drone are framed by targeting or focusing graphics of the kind we might see through a camera lens or a gun scope. Other red and white lines create the impression we might be viewing the depicted scene on a computer screen. The two drones, the dog and the human being, are all painted shades of night vision green to indicate a sense of being watched, surveilled. The umbilical leash linking the human being to the airborne drone is also a metaphor for our increasing reliance on technologies that monitor us, collect data from us, and generally mediate how we operate in our landscape and environments. I conclude my presentation with a provocative and speculative question. What if the drone walking the human being in my painting, walking the dog in the drone age, is a metaphor for a human future where human beings are the pets? <laughs>